Hi, hi, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Monday, November 1st, 2021. Happy November. <laughs> Brand new month. I'm so excited to see what's in the cards for us because quite often the cards we turn on the first day of the month seem to set a tone for the month. And I want to rewind for a moment back to our weekend reading. So October 30th, 31st, those were some great cards. So we uh, have come out of October on a high note. <laughs> so let's see if we start November also on a high note. Our first card from Sacred Traveler Oracle. Oh, actually, before I get to that, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the notification bell for simply viewing. And do check out your week ahead readings. They are up here on the channel for you, one for each sign. They're short, they're sweet. You can watch yours, your sun, moon, rising, Venus videos, and certainly cross watch for the people near and dear to you. <laughs> See what's going on in their week as well. All right, our first card, Sacred Traveler Oracle. This is meant to be the overall theme of energy that we are navigating in the atmosphere today. We have, <laughs> what great advice, right? Stay focused, hold the course. Yeah. Most definitely, and that's always good advice, truly. Stay focused on what's in your heart space. You know, there are plenty of distractions, plenty of interruptions uh, that life just blesses us with. And we can certainly take our eye off things for mm, the interest or even benefit of other experiences, right? Though our consistent focus is really important to us especially when we've had such great manifestation messages out of those week ahead messages. That's one of the themes that emerged uh, out of those readings. So stay focused on what has meaning to you. And that's all about where you're going to put your energy, invest your energy in. What has meaning to you? All right, our first two cards out of Sawyer's Path. Hmm. <laughs> Now there's a beauty to start a reading with, right? There's the Empress, the mother of tarot. Look at the beautiful sun there with her. We have a deer on this card. I love to see a deer with the Empress. It speaks to gentle changes, 40 day cycles. So this could be the beginning of a next 30 to 40 day cycle for us. Uh, and we've had some interesting cards lately, a lot of major arcana. And we've had those major arcana cards backed up by angel answers, letting us know that we're not necessarily dealing in a temporary energy, which could relate to a cycle. And the Empress can be here confirming that for us. So stay focused on it and get the most out of it. Put the most into it. Uh, again, stay, stay in the heart space and invest that kind of energy. So the Empress was accompanied by, look at that, the Four of Cups. You know, traditional tarot, this is kind of a card that indicates apathy. I totally disagree with that. <laughs> in reverse, perhaps. Uh, but in the upright, no. And again, look, we have the sun. We have it here with the Empress. We have it here with the sun. And what I feel is the Empress is the divine overflow of this Ace of Cups incoming that this person doesn't necessarily see or have their eye on at this time. The Three Cups below, they are in consideration. And I feel that this is more a meditative posture rather than the pouting posture of, oh, it's the morning after, the night before, the party's over, wah, you know. Uh, being in divine flow, divine order, there's more coming. There's an ebb and a flow to things. And I love that the Empress is here with this because we're speaking potential cycles. And we're also speaking of the Ace of Cups to the power of four with an unseen ace by the character on the card. And you know that's more bliss, joy, happiness on overflow. We see this message so often. For me, the Four of Cups intuitively has become a card of reverence and cherishing 
and counting one's blessings. So this can, let's flip the message here. Instead of going with the traditional meaning of the card, let's extrapolate and really consider that we are in reverence for or of the experiences recently passing, experiences we've recently participated in, and there's more to come in the brilliant clarity of the sun times two on these cards. Next we have, fantastic, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Delivery System, that, that's just it. This is a cycle of delivery. <laughs> that's wonderful. It's the Divine Delivery System. This is energy uh, moving in good momentum in our favor. I was listening to another uh, tarot reader the other day talking about the Wheel of Fortune. I really liked what she had to say is that there's really no upright and no reverse on the wheel because it's always turning, always turning. So with the Empress and the Four of Cups preceding this card, that's the momentum we're moving under in this turn and in this cycle. It's fulfillment, it's love, it's nurturing, it's investment in our journey. So, so beautiful for us. It's also a 10 and 10s are fulfillment in some way and also completion and indicative of resetting a cycle or turning into a new phase of a cycle. Because in any suit in tarot, once you reach 10, you reset back to ace. So most definitely we're seeing uh, the energies blessing us within our current cycle. And then we have the four of coins. Gosh, another four that has a bit of a somber reputation, which I also <laughs> don't believe in. <laughs> what I love about this four of cups, uh, coins is that it's traditionally called the miser. It's something we're hanging on to that we don't necessarily want to let go of. And in the spirit of this reading, in the energy of this reading, what I'm really feeling is more reverence, more appreciation, more gratitude in this card. And no, not a somber character on the card either. A person that's in contemplation, meditation, and considering the stable decisions that got them where they are right now. And where are they right now? Receiving from the divine delivery system of the wheel of fortune in fulfillment, in completion of a cycle, reaching the pinnacle of a life experience. How is that charged? It's charged lovingly and in a nurturing, cherishing way of appreciation from the Empress and the Four of Cups. Really beautiful. So this card, this Four of Coins, may have us pausing in the action, kind of like the hanged man, and holding on to or staying focused upon <laughs> the wealth of our heart space. And we're in consideration for how our appreciation of what we do hold in heart space really does create more and more raw resource and fuel to keep that wheel turning in just this way. Whoa, that's awesome. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck from Sawyer's Path. This is potential energy in the unseen, stuff we're not exactly keenly aware of that the universe has well in hand for us. Our first card is, see, just talking about momentum, and there's the Six of Swords. And that, that apply that where it's relevant to you and your world and sphere of influence and personal experience, because there is an energy of moving forward with, uh, pardon, moving forward in this glorious energy. So the Six of Swords is about moving from somewhat unfavorable energies to much more favorable energies. And you can see that stable contemplation right here in the reading so that we stay within the spirit that we remain within the spirit of the wheel of fortune's momentum then we have the knight of cups oh what a beautiful card 
I love this card. Knights move energies between cards. So that's that's the flow that we're in. We're in that six of swords flow. We're mindful of upgrade. We're mindful of what's on offer to us in this cycle of nurturing, loving, manifestation, creating. And we're traveling with this ace of cups over here from the four is now in the hands of the knight. And where is the knight taking that energy? Oh gosh, look at this. Right to the king of cups. So there's a healing of the heart going on here and potentially an upgrade in the clarity of our intuitive gifts. He's emotionally awake, aware, alert, intelligent, intimate, and like the queen, he scries, he listens to the inner voice, he listens to the inner oracle, and he he connects that to the momentum we see here in the wheel to keep that energy flowing. So we have an interest in staying in divine order, divine flow here with the six of swords because that's totally working for us. We're staying focused on what's in heart space and we're bringing to life what we love on our foundation with the Empress. That's beautiful energy. <laughs> All right, let's go to Angel Answers. Get confirmation from these cards for something personal and unique to you. Ask a question of them if you wish. Let them be a fresh message. <laughs> oh, one of our favorites. Brace yourself, folks. There's big happy changes. What makes the big change but your happiness? You know this, and that's what you're in reverence for on that Four of Cups. That's what you're in appreciation with. Beautiful energy here. Be assertive. Take action. I also feel intuitively as I look at that card right now, I just heard, speak your heart. Speak the truth of your heart. Mm. We may be called to that within the day. Mm. And trust yourself. Oh, nice. <laughs> Perfect timing. That's divine timing. The time is now. <laughs> you only have right now. How beautiful. So be assertive right now and trust yourself. Take a step in the direction, a focused step in the direction of your happiness and make a big change there. It's the perfect timing for that. Okay, last card for us from Angels and Ancestors, a, a point of meditation or contemplation within the day. We have Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. Uh, done and done, most definitely by the energetic flow of this reading. So keep doing that because it's totally working for you. Have a beautiful Monday, everyone. Again, happy November, brand new month for us to celebrate life in. Peace, love, joy, happiness, laughter, playfulness. Go for it. Namaste.